Hello, racing enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel. Ferrari focused on making 2024 F1 car easier to drive. Ferrari's 2024 Formula One car development has been centered around enhancing drivability. Although similar efforts were made with the upgrades introduced in 2023, Carlos Sainz Jr. and Charles Leclerc found themselves adjusting their car setups post-summer break at Zandvoort to fine-tune the car's handling, which remained challenging. Ferrari aims to build upon their improved performance as they kick off the 2024 racing season. Ferrari team statement. The design group, led by chassis technical director Enrico Cardell, aimed to give Charles and Carlos a car that is easy to drive and that reacts predictably, with as a starting point, the positive feeling the drivers had in the cockpit over the final few races of last season. Team principal Fred Basser stated. This year, we must start off where we left off at the end of last season, when we were consistent frontrunners, with a view to constantly improving in all areas. Ferrari must be more clinical and effective with its race management and make bold choices as it aims to pressure Red Bull team. The SF24 features a revised livery that reduces the exposed carbon fiber around the tailfin, rear wing main assembly, and halo. Instead, it incorporates more white and yellow flashes, paying homage to Ferrari's other traditional racing colors and the 2023 Le Mans 24 hours winning 499p World Endurance Championship hypercar. Following his early simulator running, Leclerc further underlined the main emphasis with the car. He noted. The SF24 ought to be less sensitive and easier to drive, and for us drivers, that's what you need in order to do well. I expect the car to be a step forward in several areas, and from the impression I formed in the simulator, I think we're where we want to be. Ferrari has abandoned its ground-effect bathtub-style side pod solution, which was in use during last year's Spanish Grand Prix. Instead, the team has committed to introducing a fresh car concept for the current season. Hartle clarified. With the SF24 we wanted to create a completely new platform, and in fact, every area of the car has been redesigned, even if our starting point was the development direction we adopted last year, and which saw us take a leap forward in terms of competitiveness in the final part of the season. We have taken on board what the drivers told us and turned those ideas into engineering reality, with the aim of giving them a car that's easier to drive and therefore easier to get the most out of and push it to its limits. We did not set ourselves any design constraints other than that of delivering a strong and honest racing car, which can reproduce on the racetrack what we have seen in the wind tunnel. Leclerc and Sainz will get a car more like Red Bulls in 2024 with the SF24. Whether it will also be enough for more race wins will have to be seen in the coming season. 2024 will also be Carlos Sainz's last year in Ferrari. His expiring contract was not renewed. Indeed, Ferrari pulled a stunt by bringing in Lewis Hamilton for 2025. The Briton will become the teammate of Charles Leclerc in 2025, who earlier did sign a multi-year deal. That was all for today. Thank you for watching guys I hope you liked my video. See you soon.